Hello, it's Suichi, TJ, and Jeff on board the International Space Station, and uh, we just wanted to give you a quick message about this news that you've already got. You got a couple days ago, we finally got access to the Internet. Today is uh, Sunday up here, it's our day off, so we finally had time to actually get on the Internet and, uh, and go visit some places. Suichi, uh, what do you plan on doing with this new capability? Well, I guess uh, we're flying, uh, you know, like uh, 17,000 miles per hour. On, uh, on the rest that we can surf the world at the light of speed. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and TJ, you several years ago, we won't call you a geek, although I do sometimes. <laughs> but you are our loving, I, lovingly, lovingly, yeah. Well, you are our IT expert on board, and you actually a few years ago spent some time with the team on the ground um, and others. Uh, defining the, these requirements for this uh, new capability. That's that's very true. Um, it's actually got a very rich and long history, but not not to bore everybody. The, um, this whole concept actually started back in March of 2000, January of 2000, and uh, we met bilaterally with the Russians in March of 2000 and designed a network that would support Expedition One, and they were to launch in uh, September, October of 2000. And along with that plan came with a, a forward um, a forward plan how to grow the network with the increasing modules and more partners and more people using it. And so uh, it's really, really exciting for us to be able to, to, to see that this comes coming to fruition from that long-term plan. But more to the point, the people have been working very, very hard to make this a reality now. It's gotten to the point where the communications, the infrastructure both on board and on the ground could support this possibility. So we're, we're going live and, and it's really exciting to see a, a vision come, come to fruition. That's pretty cool. It, now you're not saying it took ten years to get the capability. It was ten years in the plan. Absolutely true. Plan. And it took a few months, I think, for the team on the ground to actually put the pull it together. And, Absolutely and, uh, true. And we're really happy with it because it, 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 it helps us feel like we're a little bit more in touch uh, with uh, the world below us. And we don't have to limit ourselves now to day old news all the time. We have uh, a little bit more closer to real time access. Uh, we have up here the NASA website. Of course, we had to check it out to see what's going on the International Space Station from the world's point of view. And we see that uh, TJ's first tweet is right up there on the NASA website. And uh, we understand that made a little bit of a splash on the ground. I'm going to send a tweet right now. We're uh, calling today. Since today's our day off and we actually had time to get on the Internet, we're calling it the ISS Internet grand opening, and that's what I'm tweeting about right now. <laughs> so, I've got it typed, and here we go. And it's gone. And I already saw a question, does it uh, go real time or is it delayed? It's essentially real time, right? And you, you, real time, yeah, and you, you can check that. It's about 15.30 GMT time, or about 9.30 in Houston time. So when you look at that tweet from Jeff, you can see the timestamp. It's about 9.30 Houston time. On the 24th of January. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Tweeting to you.